Hi folks, super quick episode. I wanted to show off the new Pathpilot Wizards. I never used the Wizards in Mach. I think they were the newfangled ones. Um, for no good reason, I just didn't. And this is something I do all the time here, which is I've got a piece, a big block of aluminum, and I, I just cut on the bandsaw, and I need to both square it up, but I also need to machine it to final size. So what I normally do is I take the super fly and I cut the one end, and that gives me a squared up face to the rest of the part. I hold it in there with a, a level, or with a square. But now I've got this last face, so what I do is I use my Heimer to touch off the either the bottom of the jaw, or I happen to know the back jaw is 1.75, and that's pretty darn repeatable. And now what I want to do is use my rougher to machine this down to three inches. Now, I have always to date just sat here and jogged around on the mock uh, keyboard. It's just never bothered me. Maybe that's you guys are going to think that's stupid, but you know, I'm just how I've done it. Um, actually, as an aside, that's one reason why I have bought the bridge port is now Jared will do that kind of stuff on the bridge port while the Tormox running, you know, more high revenue stuff. But nevertheless, um, I wanted to take a look at the Path Pilot Wizards mostly because I was so enamored with the Lathe Wizard, and let's see if it uh, if it actually makes sense. And so far, I haven't even run it, but I just took a look at program in it, and I think it's going to make sense. So let's take a look. Now, in fairness, I did populate these fields before the video, but I haven't run it yet, so, as I wanted to show sincerely just how easy I think this is going to be. So I went to conversational, clicked on face, and then um, I typed in face G54 tool, which is just the normal offset, tool 11 is my tool, which I run at 2800 RPMs, 20 IPMs, and v Z feed rate of that. Now I have about um, a quarter inch of material left, so I just gave it a clearance height of 3.4. And then in the fields, pretty simple. I didn't probe this, I just jogged pretty close to it um, on the XY, so zero to three, and then zero here down to two and a half. I'm gonna go over, this step over it says to do 0.7 times tool diameter, which you can do whatever step over you want. Um, oh, there, there you go, that's interesting. A step over 0.7 will overlap enough to complete corners. That's helpful. And we know we're going down to three. I'll do it in one depth of cut, so that's all you gotta do. Now, you guys tell me, is this gonna be a time saver for you? I don't know. I think it's going to be for me because I literally used to sit here and do this, and you know, that's fine, but every once in a while you would leave a corner. And, um, well, yeah, so let's uh, run this code and see how it works. so good. I actually don't like that it, um, I'll show you the screen again in a second, um, it, the screen made it appear that it would give you, generate a little bit of an X lead in. Now that can be dangerous because if you don't want that and you've got to, you know, that would crash into something else, but in this instance I would have preferred to have that in, the screen kind of made it look like that. So I may mention something to Tormach and see just what exactly is the intent there. Obviously you could just program a little bit of extra um, X uh, or Y and whatever you prefer cut distance that would prevent um, it from plunging straight down. You would also be cutting some air. Now, I would argue that when you're doing this, you're not, this isn't really a production thing where you're concerned about a few extra seconds. Um, so probably not a big deal, but nevertheless, nice to know, you know, you can do it right. And look, um, these conversationals are exactly that. They're these, they're tools that you can rely on that are great and what I like about what Torlock has done with Pathpilot is they're free. Um, and obviously the facing one is pretty darn simple, but there's a couple other really nice ones we'll take a look at in a second that I'm excited to try. Now, um, folks, that's awesome. That is a beautiful service finish, which that's more of the tool. But um, that's pretty darn quick. You guys agree? So uh, more to come on the, on the conversational stuff there. Obviously, I really have loved it on the lathe. Uh, let's take a look though. I've actually got a part that I need to thread mill today that I'm gonna use a single point thread mill for because it's quite large, 7 8 by 14. So I'm super excited to try this because this will be way easier than creating a little sprut model and going through that. Engraving will absolutely be, be useful. Excited to try that. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'll use the profile and pocketing. We'll have to see. I'm probably stick to my cam for that. Um, but drill tap, I could definitely see uh, using. So more to come. Hope you've enjoyed that little quick episode. Take care. See you this Wednesday for the widget, which will be called Stamp It.